Twilio event streams heads to public beta, a new version of the serverless toolkit, and a new version of the Twilio video collaboration quick start. This is Twilio Changelog. Twilio Changelog is your developer news show that keeps you up to date on all the new things that are happening in the Twilio developer ecosystem. All of the news stories can be found either over on twilio.com slash changelog or the Twilio blog. All links we discuss in this video can be found down below in the description. Twilio Event Streams is now in public beta. Event Streams is a single API for delivering event data for multiple Twilio channels directly into your infrastructure. With Event Streams, your Twilio data is easily accessible, automatically interpretable, complete, and accurate. It's really easy to set up too. Here, I'm setting up a webhook sync for event streams using the Twilio CLI. I'm giving it a URL to this webhook tester at webhook.site so we can test it out without setting up a web server. This next command registers for the SMS sent and delivered events. Now, if I use the Twilio CLI to send a text message to my phone, we'll see the events pop up in our webhook tester. You can also set up Twilio event streams to work with Amazon Kinesis. We have quick starts for both the webhook method I showed as well as Amazon Kinesis. I put the link to those down in the description below this video. The serverless toolkit is CLI tooling to help you develop locally and deploy to the Twilio runtime. I find it to be the most convenient way to work on Twilio functions code. The serverless toolkit team has released a new major version and it has some pretty exciting features. First, there's a new way to specify configuration options. In the past, you had to pass config parameters via CLI flags. The new .twilio serverless RC file supports almost every configuration option, and you can author it in JSON5, the default, YAML, JavaScript, or directly inside your package.json file. My favorite new feature is the new Assets plugin for the CLI. The Assets plugin makes it super simple to host files in the Twilio Assets without the need for a functions project. With just a couple lines of code in the terminal, you can have an MP3 hosted in Assets to play on your voice calls. To use it, first you'll need to install the plugin in the CLI, then run Twilio Assets in it to set up a bucket to store your assets. Once that's ready to go, we run Twilio Assets Upload and pass in the name of our file. When it's done, the CLI gives us a public URL to that asset. This toolkit version does come with a few breaking changes, so make sure you read the launch blog post linked below the video for more details. We covered the Twilio video quick start application on this channel back when it launched. Recently, the quick start has been updated to be a full video collaboration quick start. New features in the quick start include chat for text-based and file-based messaging, screen sharing, dominant speaker indicator, and you can even start and stop recording. There's also a ton more features. You can find the quick start inside of Twilio Code Exchange or over on GitHub. If you'd like to see a full demo of the quick start in action, check out the Twilio releases Q2 2021 webinar. The Twilio releases team puts out fantastic quarterly webinars. You can find all of the past Twilio release webinars over at twilio.com slash releases. If you've enjoyed this Twilio news update, let us know down in the comments. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, check out this tutorial from Nathaniel about how to transcribe live phone calls. I'll see you next time. I'm out of here.